probably one of the hardest guns to use in the game, if I do say so. I'm definitely not going easy. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Oh! Two in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is long overdue. I got this weapon a while ago, and I have yet to cover it in a video. Despite the fact that it is arguably one of the coolest, one of the most weird, but... It's just cool weapons ever in an FPS game. If we take a look on screen here, I have already got a class prepared, my friends. Now, one of the last weapons that were released for Black Ops 3 before Infinite Warfare came out includes the DIY Renovator that I've done a video on recently. It's an awesome, awesome SMG. It's like a nail gun. It's so good. But it also came out with the D13 Sector. I mean, you can't get much cooler for weapons that pop and look amazing. Now, the D13 Sector falls into the Specials category, which falls alongside the NX Shadow Claw. Claw. Ar arguably, like, the greatest DLC weapon in Black Ops 3. I've almost gone floor- did I go flawless? I either- either went, like, just flawless or almost not flawless, like, 13 one in a free fall, only using the NX Shadow Claw. It's amazing. So, it has a lot to stand up to. Now, the D13 Sector doesn't come with too much ammo, unfortunately. That's the downside, whereas the NX Shadow Claw is a great ammo and can just go around killing loads of people while running scavenger but the d13 sector needs a companion so that's why i've partnered it here with the diy renovator now i've just realized having talked about the fact that it doesn't have much ammo i haven't gone and freaking put on the one perk that i will definitely need which will be scavenger so I think I'm going to have to lose out on fast hands and put on scavenger to make sure this thing is going to have enough ammo. So what we're going to be doing today is jumping online. I don't even know which mode we're going to end up playing, but we're going to run around and we're going to try and put ourselves in positions where we can try and get as many kills as possible with the D13 sector. Maybe annoy people a little bit with it, try and get some feeds with it. I don't expect that to happen, but it does have an ability where it can ricochet off walls, so you could get crazy kills without even realizing it. The possibilities are endless, my friends, so let's see what the game has has to offer us today. If you're excited for this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe as always if you're new around here and make sure you're hitting that notification button. It's important you do that to make sure you do not miss out on any videos. So let's jump into this. I am excited. Let's see whose heads we can cut off with the pizza cutter DIY 13 sector. Let's do this. All right, baby, our first attempt at this. I've got heat wave on with a specialist I've never used before. And you can tell already this ain't gonna be easy. Really, I should be setting myself up with this weapon um, for like shooting them in the back, shooting them basically like in a way that means it's almost gonna be a guaranteed kill. I have got big streaks on. I definitely am not going. I'm definitely not going easy on the streaks I can be getting. I want some big bad boys ones called in. Specifically, to be honest with you, the hater, because that will allow me to like obviously know where everyone is on the map, which then means hopefully I can put the D13 sector to good use. So, is this guy hiding here? I don't think so, buddy. Did I? I don't think I played with a red dot on this weapon when I did the when I did the challenge, like the zero dollar gun versus the two hundred dollar gun. I swear I didn't. This thing's amazing. Oh my gosh, I just forget how good this gun is. To be honest with you. Oh my god. Whoa! How? This is why I love the slightly... No! Ali! Come on! I know I'm better than this. That's why I like the slightly longer time to kill in Black Ops 3, is what I was going to say. Oh, man. That could have been such a sweet little, little kill there. There's me mashing double triangle like an absolute idiot. Right, this could be our chance, my friends. It could be our chance. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. What is everyone saying? What is everyone saying? Oh! Oh! Let's go! First kill. Anyone else coming here? Here we go. There's another one. There's another one. Let's go. It's bouncing around everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, it's getting crazy. Oh, is that a three little streak? Are we making this happen? Probably one of the hardest guns to use in the game, if I do say so. No, that's a little bit too risky. You can hear it bouncing around everywhere. Oh, man. I knew this would be fun, but I knew it would be tricky all at the same time. We, we can do better. We can do better. I know we can. This gun is way too good. The fact that these two weapons came out so late in Black Ops 3's life just isn't fair. More people should have experienced these weapons. To be honest with you... Oh, wow. That was close. To be honest with you... More people should have been able to get DLC weapons. There should have been easier drops because, like, so many of these guns, people just won't have used because you have to put so much freaking money into the game to ever get them. There's, there's real talk, Valley A for you. Ooh. 
not quite. Oh, baby! Yo, he had that. He has a new charge DLC weapon. Little did he know how shocking that gun is. It's not that bad, but it ain't easy, that's for sure. Oh, God. Someone be picking up my gun. What are you doing? Mine. I spent all the money to get it, not you. Oh, my gosh. I'm not showing around to use it very well, am I? <laughs> Fourteen and four. Okay, I know. I know. It's gonna be a mixture. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like Allier plays like Black Ops Three and occasionally uses this really cool weapon that's very hard to use. Okay, guys, that's how it's gonna work. Nice. All right, let's do this, baby. Now, the reason I've got this specialist on, as you saw, is because the heat wave ability is so good for stunning enemies. So I'm gonna use it very much in like an area, like a tight room or something, to try and put people off. And like stun them when they really are least expecting it. Ooh, so close to the VSAT. All right, I feel like it's D13 sector time, baby. Let's get into a good position. See how many kills we can get. There's one. Let's go. I don't even know if I actually stunned anyone with that, but. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm going to bounce it in there. Watch this. Oh, not quite as good as last time. There's a second one. Oh, my God. That was a sight. Wow. D13 sector, you really are. You're shutting people down. Okay, okay. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Nice. All right, we're winning, which is... I wasn't really sure how this would go. We're having to switch between such a tough weapon to use. What do you reckon? Should we go for this? Should we go for it? Nice, there's one. Another one. Whoa, let's go. Nice, this gun, these guns, man. So much fun. Honestly, if I could distribute them to everyone watching this video right now, so everyone could have a go with them, I, I would. I'm not even serious, not even joking. I'm not even serious, I am serious. I would definitely do it for you guys. Oh, oh that hurts, man. That hurts. Coming second in a free fall? That's not Ali, eh? What are you saying? But you know what? For a first attempt using a D13 sector, it actually went a lot smoother than I thought. I definitely thought that that weapon right there would be hard to get multiple kills with. Remember a few cheeky double kills, a cheeky three piece, I mean three piece was as fast as we can get with that D13 sector, but it's starting off strong. I'm feeling good vibes, guys. I'm feeling good vibes, ladies and gentlemen. Properly, okay, I shouldn't say it, but I'm properly feeling this map. I'm properly feeling this lobby. We're back in action. D13 renovator is all ready to go. We just got to perform now, baby, all right? We've got to make sure we win. Winning is like something I shouldn't even be saying, but we need to be winning. Oh my god. And not suiciding. <laughs> that is what I'm saying. It took a lot longer to line up than it should have done, but we need to up our performance, up our ante. Winning's not even something I should be saying, I know, but this is it, guys. I'm feeling it. Nice. I don't know how this gun shoots so far. It's so good, honestly. Hey. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Nice. That's what we're talking about. Specialist ability locked and loaded as well. That is what we want. We need to free some guys. We need to make this happen, baby. Oof, 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 oof. We're getting out of there. We're getting out of there. Oh my god. I did not, like, lag. Oh my gosh. Oh. No! I couldn't have survived more two dumb, crazy gunfights, even if I picked them out myself. And then we go and die to the most easy one. It's all okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up? What's up? Level one. I'm sorry. It had to be an easy kill. Like there's oh two in a row. Can you hear it bouncing around everywhere? No, that could have been a third. It definitely should have been a third. Thing is, if you aren't deadly accurate and your aim gets knocked around a little bit. I'm trying to psychosis coach, buddy. I don't think so. If you aren't deadly accurate with this thing, like, GG. Like, you, you're going to get killed, probably. I really want to get a bouncing kill, though. Like, bounce it off a door around a corner. I mean, probably asking a little bit too much. But, oh, my God. Never good news. Never good news. Someone is doing well. Now he's up my game, apparently. Oh, I probably should let that guy shoot down, shouldn't I? God damn it. No! He's level 300. Why? Why did he break my lobby? One guy. 
Someone else coming through? Come on. Come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, hey. Okay, I take that back. Nice. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. That was a clone? The troll! No, I thought I just pulled off the greatest stunt to get a kill and it didn't work. No, I, I was so feeling that game. That was the worst performance in the first time. Ah, you know, maybe, maybe it's secret uses against things like this. Maybe I should have spied the disc gun at the Cerberus and been like, maybe that's just, it took it down in a few discs. Oh man, I'm so I'm sorry, guys. That was that was not as good as it should have been. That, what am I? Why am I not standing at the front? That is why I should always be standing. I mean, it's about the weapon, though. Right? It's about the weapon. We will give this another go, another chance to see if we can get some good feeds for it. Give it a little bit of a rating, maybe at the end as well, and see what we're thinking. Okay, let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. For working on a reverse psychology basis. If I say it's going to be my worst game ever, maybe it will be my best. Let's give it a go. D13 Sector in hand. And actually, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned how I'd had a flawless or almost flawless game with the NX Shadow Claw. Whatever the outcome, I genuinely can't remember. It was on this map. So, hopefully, we can have some good luck. Everything seems to be quiet right now. A little bit too quiet. There we go. All right, starting off strong. I, I still, I know this is not to do with a DIY renovator, but I still can't quite get over a lot. Okay, then I get out killed by a pistol. What are you doing, Alec? But genuinely, I still can't believe a lot of the time the range and the power and just the accuracy of this thing. It is so good. Oh, this guy does not know what is hitting. I'm so sorry. Ooh, ripping through that armor. Thank goodness. Right, this is where we've got the old heat wave ready. To tactically use it right now. Oh my god. That's one way of doing it. There's one person down. Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh. There's two. Oh, that was lucky. Can we make it a three? Anyone else coming around here? Oh. Oh. Almost. That room. If we're going to pop off, it's going to be that room. That's for sure. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, sorry, buddy. I had to disc you. I had to be dumb. Oh, he picked up my gun. I see how it is. Don't have one for yourself. Pick it up. It's all good. I'm just here just to distribute DLC guns. That's what I'm doing, really, aren't I? There we go. Yo, okay. Maybe we should just be maining this gun. No, how'd that not get them? How? We just talk about how long it takes to shoot as well. It's like the longest thing in the world. Jeez. Okay, another person wants to be wants to get shot there. Oh, I wasn't sure if that's gonna hit or not. Oh my god, I got a golden gun. Oh, imagine if we traded golden gun for disc. <laughs> this has just turned into. A, I'm not losing another game of free for all. This is too embarrassing. Like 27 to 28. This is going to be close. Come on. No messing around, baby. Ooh. There's one. There's two. We get the final one. What are we saying? There we go. That is what I'm talking about. We don't lose free fools. I was so mad at it. Well, not mad. At the end, I was like, no, we're not having this. We're not having this. Like, seriously, focus up, Ali. We're taking you down. We're using our heat wave. We're coming around the corner. And with the D13 sector, we're getting that game winning kill. And that just shows you how nuts it is. It goes up. What? That? It's just the weirdest gun in the world. But we finally managed to get ourselves a win. We managed to get ourselves a game winning kill cam, the D13 sector. It's a weapon I've never properly looked at on this channel. It's a lot of fun. It's a fun weapon. If you have it and your mates have it, you can jump into a private match and just shoot each other with it and try and get crazy kills. As an effective thing to use online, it's not the greatest in the world, okay? Fun rating, high. Usability, low. Skill level to use, again, very high indeed. But you know what? We had some cool little streaks in the beginning. We had a nice little streak going on at the end there. I had fun, and that's what that gun's about. So, guys, hopefully you've really enjoyed. You have to give it a thumbs up, as always. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.